Barlow Creations, Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is somewhat of a video request, and it is not a request that I received from any of you subscribers. It was a request that I received from a really good friend of mine whose daughter just went away to college, is staying in the dorms, and she was looking for an organizer for her desk. And she wanted this organizer to be kind of a vanity, a place that she could store her makeup or store school supplies if needed. She gave me the color scheme of her daughter's room and I cannot wait to show you what I came up with for this desktop vanity mirror or school supply storage. So let's get to it and let me show you what all I picked up for this project. For this project, I picked up 10 of Walmart's mini crates that you can get for 88 cents a piece. I also picked up two yards of this fabric from Walmart at $2.97 a yard. Heading on over to the Dollar Tree, I picked up 10 of these 4x6 frames, one 8x10 mirror, one 8x10 picture frame, a tri-fold display board, and two foam boards. I also picked up two of these LED push lights, four of these gray desktop pencil holders, and eight of these clear acrylic makeup organizers. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take five of the 10 plastic crates and using my E6000, what I love about these Walmart mini crates is that they've got these holes here that allow you to stack them which equals putting E6000 here in the bigger holes on each crate to stack them together and glue them together. Taking my E6000, I'm using white because it's not gonna show. In the bigger hole here, I'm gonna place some E6000. And there's two big holes on each crate. I'm gonna have my crates laying horizontal instead of vertical. So when we put them together, there's glue in all four. I'm gonna stack this four high. Now taking the fifth crate, I'm gonna turn it vertically. Taking my spring clamp to hold just these top two together. I'm gonna to repeat this process with the other five crates and I'm gonna set this outside to dry so the epoxy can cure. Okay, so I've got both sets of five crates done and I should have explained to you that on this side crate of the second five crates that you were putting together, the crate needed to be on this side of the top crate, not on the other side allowing us to attach them both here in the middle. I also wanna tell you that I went back and ended up using Gorilla Glue instead of the E6000. I really liked this one a lot better because when you stick it into the holes here on the side of the crate, it actually expands when it dries, giving it an amazing hold. The E6000 was not working and so I went ahead, I used the Gorilla Glue and it worked perfectly. You can see here that my crates are nice and stuck together. They are very tight. Now I'm gonna take and attach these two crates together, just like so, using the Gorilla Glue, giving us this U-shaped unit. Now I'm gonna take both of my foam poster boards and I'm gonna tape them both together. I'm using packaging tape you can use whichever tape you have on hand. Now taking the crate unit that I just put together, I'm gonna place it on top of the foam board. Then taking a pencil, I'm gonna trace the bottom and outside edges of this crate on the foam board. Now taking a ruler, 
and a razor, I'm gonna cut along the line that I just traced. Using my ruler as a guide, so I have a nice, straight, clean cut. Leaving me with a piece of cardboard that will give me a backing to this unit. Now taking the fabric that I picked up from Walmart, I took and rough cut a piece just a bit bigger than the foam board that I taped together. Now using the Krylon spray adhesive, I'm gonna spray the wrong side of my fabric and cover one side of this foam board. Now taking my clear E6000 glue, I'm gonna take and trace the outline of each crate on the back of them. I've put E6000 on the back of all 10 of my mini crates. Now I'm going to flip it over and place it onto the cardboard that I covered with fabric. I'm happy with where I've got it placed. Now I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. For this next part of the project, we're gonna be cutting some pieces from our trifold display board. I've cut 10 pieces from the trifold display board in the measurements of five and five eighths by seven and three quarters. Now taking my fabric, I've rough cut it just a bit bigger than my piece of cardboard, and I'm gonna cover my cardboard with this. I'm using Krylon spray adhesive to adhere the fabric onto the cardboard. For this part of the project, if you wanna use your hot glue gun, you can use that too. Next, I've taken and cut two more pieces from my trifold display board in the measurements of 22 inches long by five and three quarters wide, and that was two pieces. I went ahead and covered both of them totally front and back as neatly as possible. And my last cut from the trifold display board measures out at 17 and a half long by five and three quarters wide. And that was just one piece that I covered as well with the fabric front and back. Now let me show you why I specifically picked these four by six frames for this project. For this desk unit, I'm gonna be utilizing only the glass part of these frames. When picking out these frames, I was looking for a specific size of glass, and I wanted the glass to fit on the cardboard pieces that I cut that measure out at seven and three quarters by five and five eighths. These were the only two frames that came with glass that specifically fit the measurements I needed for these cube holders. And as for the frames, I'm not gonna throw these away just yet. I'm gonna set them aside and save them and see if there's something that I can come up with using them. Now taking the mirror, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take this mirror out of its frame because I'm not real excited about the frame itself. These mirrors here that the Dollar Tree carries that are framed with this silver and black frame these are an eight by 10 frame. Now taking this eight by 10 frame that I absolutely loved the frame on, and now I'm gonna take and place my mirror in here. I'm gonna use the backing that the mirror came with because I don't need the stand for this frame. I'm actually gonna be saving this stand that I'll be utilizing in an upcoming project. And look at how pretty that is. Just what I was going for. So now I'm gonna take the 10 pieces that I wrapped in cardboard and the glass, and I'm gonna place them in each mini cubby. My thoughts behind putting these in each cubby were so you weren't limited as to what you can put in the cubbies. You've got a nice solid flat surface, and so the only limitation you really have is the height and how big the items are that you put in here. My thinking behind the glass on top of them was that if you're storing makeup in here, that this would make for an easy cleanup and it wouldn't ruin the fabric cardboard. And you could just very easily take some Windex and clean this up. Taking the last three pieces of cardboard, I did this just because I didn't want it to seem unfinished. I'm going to place them right along the sides here of the crates. 
I'm just gonna take and hot glue these to both sides and one to the top here. And I placed the hot glue on the same holes that I used to attach each crate to each other. Now taking the mirror that I reframed, I'm gonna take and hot glue it onto the backboard here. I've also picked up two of Dollar Tree's LED push lights that I'm going to hot glue to the top here. And it's as simple as just pushing the light and adding light to this unit. And with these push lights, you can still very easily just twist the white part, it'll come down and you can replace the batteries. Now let's add all the fun things that I bought for this. And there you have it everybody, my desktop organizer for either makeup or school supplies for a college dorm room or just a dresser in your bedroom. This came out so unbelievably stinking cute, I love it. And I think that my friend's daughter is absolutely gonna love this and I am so excited to gift it to her. We also made one for Kayla with the aqua mini crates. Kayla didn't want the backing. The backing you see there is her curtain. So if I open that, you'll see. She wanted just the sides covered and the back covered. And so when you look on the back, you see this. And she's using this not for her makeup, but for her desk and school supplies, just to organize her desk a bit better. And added the two push light LEDs so she would have a desk light. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this DIY Dollar Tree Walmart crate desktop or dresser organizer. The only items that weren't Dollar Tree items for this project were the crates and the fabric. And you can get crates at the Dollar Tree. I went with the Walmart crates this time because this was the color scheme of her dorm room. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. Those links are in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture and send it to me on Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.